Hi, it's me Josephine and today I want to show you some Wild of Animals you can do by yourself. They are all knitted and I would love to show them to you now. These are the horses. These are two horses I made out of different materials. This one here is cotton and it's filled with wool. That was my first horse I made actually. And then this one here is wool filled with wool. But of course you can also use other materials. I will put the video what I made about all the different kinds of wool and materials what are also vegan and all of that in the corner so you can find it also in the description box. So this one here it is pretty soft. You can move the legs pretty easy. The whole animal is very soft. That's very typical for beginner animals. When you have a little more experience, they get harder and thicker and they don't move that easy. So you can actually really put them on their legs and they stand up and it is really nice to play with them. Here's one that stands even better, but this one is not made by me. And this is also no horse. This is the donkey actually. This stands very, very well. It's made by a mother in Germany who's very experienced. The horses, they are just the hardest of all. <laughs> A little bit easier are the sheep. My sheep are also very, very soft. I did not feel them that strong, but they are able to stand. I also made them a little different. This one is thicker, this one is thinner. They are both made out of cotton and filled with wool. And of course you can make them also completely wool. Then they are also the chickens. So this one and this one, they are both cotton and filled with wool. And this one is completely wool. And they are also a little softer because you have to go through it. But they, they are perfect. You can stand them on something and you can play with them very nice. And it's very cute. Lots of fun. So this is what we are going to do today. We are making one of these. The size depends on what size you want. I would look around what other toys do you already have. So the sizing makes sense. When I made these, I just did the regular size what was recommended in a book I read, but I wouldn't do that again. I would more look around what sizing does fit to the other toys the child already has. Of course, now the things here, they, they do fit together, but I continued like crazy making more and more of those animals because they are going in our Christmas calendar this year. I'm really excited. The chicken is actually the easiest one of all. What you need for it is a regular shaped square. You just have to make sure that it is actually really a square by putting the sides on the sides to see does it fit together. You can do that when it's still on the needle and just go ahead and Pull it up to see, oh, okay, it's time to take it down. I hope you could see it. You just have to put the corners on top of each other to make sure that it's the right shape. You could use wool or cotton or so many other materials like bamboo. You can use whatever you have at home, whatever fits to your lifestyle. And then you just knit one of these. And important with this is that is actually with all of these the same. You only knit right. You don't have to do the two different kinds of knitting with left and right and all of that. That makes it way easier and also easy enough to have it as a starter knitting project. Also for kids, which is great because this shape is really, really easy. And when you have this, then you can decide, are you going to sew together with the same material you have used? Or are you going to sew together with some thinner thread? What you definitely need to have is a needle where you are able to do that. This needle is actually a needle you need quite often. It's a very, very thick needle. And of course you need some fabric scissors. First, before you start with this, you look at it and think about which side do you prefer to be the outside, which is the pretty side. Because usually one side just looks prettier than the other one. So for me, the pretty side is this one. And I have decided that already earlier, but when I ended the thread, then I went here through this to hide it so this is the inside where you will not see it later on maybe you're able to see it over here a little better i was hiding the thread <laughs> so then you have to decide 
Are you gonna put it on this corner together or on this one? What looks better to you? How do you like it? What do you prefer? I am using this. This looks good to me. If you want to, you could use now clips and clip it on the sides together if this makes the work easier for you. I like to look at it and start somewhere in the inside, like I'm going to start somewhere here but in a way so you can cannot see it outside by just going under it like this because this is going to be the inside later you will not see anything of that I'm going again through it and before I completely unthrew it I make it into a knot so this is now Connect it here. Then I have the two sides on top of each other, the way I want it. And now, What I'm doing now is I look at it from this side. I really make sure that I have it flat on top of each other before I'm going here through the side of the corner. And start to close it. And then I always, from this, I always go to the side and the same with the other one. And this is what I keep doing. I have closed the first side. Now my first side here is completely closed and it's time to think what are we going to do with the other side? Are we closing this now? Yes, we kind of do but not completely because we need some space to fill it. So usually you can either keep the whole side open and start filling it now. I prefer to close a part of it and have a little smaller hole because then the filling will not fall out that easy and to me it's just easier to work with it then so I'm gonna continue okay so I have left here a little hole and the rest of it is closed now and now it's time to fill it now it depends again on your personal lifestyle what do you want to use as filling what do you have to, at home would you like to use wool would you like to use some cotton or some bamboo or anything else there is so much out there there is really enough to choose from i have here this dark wool i like to start with a little bit i crumble it together to a little ball and then i push it in the farthest Corner. I like to use chopsticks to push the wool inside of the animals and then I'm going to continue this until it feels to me finished and filled very well. If you have some wool thread left of old projects and you don't know what to do because the pieces are just very very short like this you cannot really work with it anymore this is also great to fill those animals because it's nothing else than wool in my case i think fillings are a really really great way to use off all this old wool wood you still have while you fill this please remember that you need to be able to squeeze this down at the end so now the front is 
filled up very well in the bottom two and I'm starting to close it a little more this is how it looks like right now so here is still a little space for more but it would fall out I just close it a little more now there is some empty space here I still have a tiny little hole okay so I have filled this chicken now very well the head is a lot harder the bag is not close yet I'm going to do this you still see some of the filling here and in the middle it's a little softer but just a little it's still pretty pretty tough filled and this is what we need we need it to be filled well the better it is filled the better the child can actually grab it and it will not lose its shape okay so I'm going to close this now I like to have the ending a little farther away so I'm going through it here I don't pull too hard because otherwise it would pull it inside I have started to push the wool filling a little to the back too and now I continue shaping it a little bit more like the way I want it this is gonna be the face in my case because this looks to me more like the face it started looking like this pretty early and this is gonna be the tail and now I'm going to the bottom this is my middle on the back so this is where I want to go inside and this is where I want to come up so here on the bottom I'm gonna go inside and make a knot and I try to make it in a way so you don't really see it at the end and now I have to find my way through it to come out and exact the point I want to come out here in the middle it's not always so easy to come through it just don't give up and you can move the needle a little bit to the sides and shake it if it's hard to go through it and here it is my needle so I'm gonna go here inside and directly while I do that it starts to flatten the bottom Here is where it came out and here directly next to it around a little bit of the thread there it is where I go back inside and find my way back to the bottom on the same area where I want to come out this is gonna be here And now I will pull and while I'm pulling what happens is this goes down the back and it starts to shape the chicken of course don't pull too hard so it will rip over some feeling and give your chicken a sh and now I'm trying to hide my thread in a pretty way so this is how it looks like if you did not decide by now what is the front and what is the back then it is time to do this now next you are going to need is some red i have some sort of a pinkish peach color but i don't have red but that's going to be fine too for the ones who have seen already other videos of me you probably know already by now that i don't really like waste and i just use up what i have and by then something new when it is empty okay so what we are going to do now what i'm going to do and you might do too is i'm giving it this kind of hair back here and down there <laughs> so let's do this 
first of course you've got to decide whether you want it and how big do you want it so i would say yeah like this would be nice i would like to have it that way and this looks like the metal to me so this is where i'm going to start so i have now the double thread i did not make a knot yet i like to make the knot right now here by going through it twice and making a knot while i'm doing this the ending there are different options what you can do with that i personally prefer to use a crochet needle go here inside i am hiding with it inside so you cannot see the ending anymore and now this is a specific stitch but i'm doing i always go like like this lay it kind of like this in my hand then i look where is the next spot where i'm going through with my needle like here and while i still hold it like this i make sure that the needle is coming out in front of it And this is what I'm going to continue. I go here around my finger. Pick in the next place where I want to go inside. And always in the direction where you want to sew. So this is all I want to do and of course I would like to have it thicker so I'm going in the other direction now, I'm turning it and now I do the same thing but in the other direction. So before I went this way and now I'm going this way around my finger and I continue on top of the red thread I already have to grow it higher. Sometimes I also like to go through one of the holes twice, depending on how it looks like to me. But gives it also some sort of more volume than because you're adding some stitches. So I get a little bigger. I like to have it even bigger. I'm going one more in this direction and then back in the direction like at the beginning. And again, I'm turning this around my finger in the direction I want to go now you can see even better how it grew here up in the air and I'm going one time one one more time backwards this is how it looks like now I just decided I'm going now on top a little further to make it looking more round so I'm going here on top through my stitching very gentle not just all wild until I'm here to give it a more round shape this huge animal here it's now time for me to hide a little bit of my thread find a place where I want to do my knot and I'm hiding by going around on the sides like this. My thread left and right, left and right. And now it's time to take care of this part. I need again some of the red thread. And again, I 
go there twice inside, go through it, make a knot, king my crochet hook, go through it, grab the two pieces of thread and pull them in and hidden. Now I do the same like I did on the top. I'm sewing with the same kind of stitch. This time, this were just two stitches. It's way smaller what I'm doing there. And now I'm going in the other direction. And I'm changing the direction again. This is how it looks like right now. I'm going to go back in the other direction one more time and to make it a little more round than it is right now I'm ending up here on the bottom again so I started with two and then I went a little in circles all around and the last one I'm already using as a knot again and start to hide my thread in a nice and pretty way it looks more and more like a chicken there are two options you have when you are at this point like the ones you've seen here they look exactly like this so you could say okay that's female one and you've finished and now or you could say, I'm going to do a male one and then you give it a beautiful tail. This is what I'm going to do today. I'm going to do a male one with a beautiful tail. For this, I'm going back to the thread I have used to knit this. And I'm laying it so the ending is where my fingers end and go around to make sure they all the same length until I feel like that this should be enough. I look at it like this. You can easily cut it shorter later, but you will not be able to make it longer. Keep that in mind when you do that. Yes, that's what I want. I continue holding on to this. And I look where I want to have it. I could do it at the total end, but I'm, I prefer to do it a little more on top here. I will go through this whole. Going through the chicken and going here around and sewing it onto this a few times until it feels really tight to me. I make sure that it gets tighter and tighter so it really holds onto it. I already went farther to the back. Do you see this pretty well? And now it is really more than enough. So I'm going to stop. And now I'm hiding it a little bit by sewing up. So this is how it looks like now. And now, and I could go through all the rings at the same time. I'm just doing it that way so you can see better what I'm doing. Or I can do it ring by ring to make sure that the, because they are not all exactly the same length, to make sure that it's where I want to have it. Oh, there's a hair. And then you can continue shaping it the way you want to give it the look you want to have it. And then you can cut it down if it's on some spots too long, like here. You can cut it down here a little. Mm -hmm. 
what you can do when you're as far as this is you can decide do you want to leave it like this or do you want to give it some eyes i think i'm not gonna take it double because this is already very thick i'm taking it that way so where do i want the eye i would say and this looks like a good point for the eye to me i'm going through it like I did it before with everything else, I'm going to waste through it. I'm not going to do really a lot more than to go one more time here around. Then to me it looks like more than enough. Yeah, this is really more than enough for me, personally. Of course, it must look good to you. And instead of cutting it down, I just leave it like this and go to the other side on exact the point where i want to have my other eye then i am just going around one of my thread pieces and doing this again until it has a little more thickness like i want it now it is almost as thick as the other one but because i know i still have to make my knot I'm not gonna go crazy now. One eye, the other one, inside with my needle, and I will come out down here. And pull back, and this way it's hidden here inside. Nobody can see it. It has eyes. And this is the chicken. The needle I have used is called a yarn needle. So I hope this video was lots of fun for you and you have learned how to do your own chicken or how your child could make one because this is really the easiest tutorial of all of those wild of on animals which you could knit. And I wish you a beautiful time. If you like this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. This would help my channel so much. And I would also love if you could write me down here in the comments how it was for you to do this tutorial and how it came out. Maybe you have an Instagram account and you want to tag me. My Instagram account is also down there in the description box. So you can find me and I'm always happy to see how other ones did the tutorial and how it came out and i just i'm just very curious to see how it came out and was it really helpful for you so i wish you a beautiful time don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of those videos like this one and i will see you in my next video goodbye have a beautiful time <laughs>